Here we are at the EDC, that is Engineering Design Center of Barca, with Marian Lubinieski, that is the EDC leader. This place is amazing because it's the most populated and the greatest engineering community in Europe. You have 1,800 engineers working and researching here and studying and developing, and it is a multi-business design center. That means that many GE businesses are represented here, right? Yes, right, because we started back 2000 as an aviation business, but uh, over time we added also uh, power, we added also uh, oil and gas, which is now Baker Hughes GE, we added transportation. And we, we also need to remember that this place has been born as a, as a partnership with Warsaw Institute of Aviation. So our research and develop, technology development part is very strong here. And uh, more recently, uh, following the, the trends, we like to be more technology development center and obviously conducting our engineering activities as well. And if you think about technology, we, we start to think about ourselves more like a, uh, also industrial digital place and, and translating to EDC is really uh, what we used to say about us is that this is the place where mechanical uh, engineering meets um, uh, digital experience, mm -hmm. digital expertise, sorry. So, so from that perspective, we, we really like to be part of digital revolution. And also we like to be part of additive evolution because those revolutions, because those two revolutions really come together as a very two main technological initiatives that goes across all GE businesses. That means Absolutely. Yeah. all businesses we have here. And uh, you, you told about the aviation routes of this place. Tell us more about that. Actually, Warsaw Institute of Aviation uh, is, is an institute uh, with very long tradition of doing uh, research and development for, for aviation. And we coming here kind of print over on top of this tradition uh, G global footprint and G technological uh, achievements. So I think this, this combination is absolutely perfect. So over the 17 years, we became the main place to support narrow body lines like Leap CFM56, but also strong presence in wide bodies GNX CF6. And we, we more recently are biggest part of ATP program working uh, for uh, right. with BGA team. So yeah. it's absolutely phenomenal story how we grew from from very small team of five people with big plan. It was You're just like a startup. Wow, yes. it, it, it is a, an incredible number. This is like a, a the, the town of engineers, you know, and we're going to meet many other engineers from from all this a sector and disciplines that you that you mentioned and I thank you so much for inviting us today uh, having this tour and meeting your other engineers thank you Maria. thank you <laughs> so here we are with Marcin Cubes right where are we Marcin right now hi Ari we are in our cafeteria in engineering design center you can get a coffee here spend some time relaxing I know and I, I heard that you are part of the additive research and development team here in the EDC, right? Uh, tell me more about your team. How, how many are you and, and what are your, uh, your activities? So we are the team responsible for additive design for Leap Engine. There is a Leap team here dedicated for Leap Engine. Wow. And we are responsible for additive design for them. Which kind of components and, and parts are you working on with this LEAP team? So my team was working, is still working on the mm -hmm. parts across all engine modules. The modules which I, and the design which I can highlight here is, for example, high pressure compressor improvement, performance improvement. Mm -hmm. We have designed dedicated cooling uh, inducer which reduce T3 temper operation temperature and this improve the performance. We also work on design for high pressure turbine shrouds. There is dedicated team in US mm -hmm. working on the blades and we cooperate together working on shrouds. So you, you work also with the additive technology center in, in US, right? Yes, we cooperate with ATC in the US very closely. We also cooperate with other material mod uh, laboratories to get more information, got, get more knowledge about the yeah. additive process and uh, get Fine information requirements and the limits of this process. This is incredible. Thank you so much. So here we are with Piotr Viat from the EDC. Uh, where are we, Piotr? Right we now? are in materials lab at EDC. This is not basically your 
workplace because you're, you're belonging to a, a team that is focused on BGA uh, engine problems, right? Yes, that's right. I'm a section manager for the BGA team at EDC and we support a couple of GE engine programs like Honda Passport, CT7 and the CFE engine. And what does your team is focused on? I mean, researches and, and studying on which components or uh, performances of these engines? Okay, in terms of additive, in general, additive fits very well into the BGA world because of the size of the engines. And because you get the complexity for free, you can combine couple parts together That's right. to gain the weight and, and the cost optimized, right? And this is something that revolutionized your way to design components, right? Yes, and this is and, and we and we we have a couple of projects dedicated to passport and Honda programs where we would like to utilize the additive technology. Like components like this that I am and just seeing here. Yes. What are the, what are so, the two so those two parts. So those two parts are the tri plastic trial prints right now mm -hmm. for the for the passport twenty. This is the this is the entire aft sum for passport. So this is a, a real proof of how additive, mainly but not only in the aviation world, helped you engineer to rapid prototyping. Parts, right? Yes, exactly. This is a great example. Those, as, as you can see, those parts are very complex. You can see a lot of oil passages. Can I you, take one? Yes, sure. Air passages, and you can, you can with using the additive technology, you can combine that, that all together. So in original design, the aft sum combines from three major structural parts and we would like to combine that into two and I'm just talking about the three main comp three main parts there is much more parts which gets into the original assembly wow so thank you so much Piotr this thank you perfect thank you so much thank you here we are with Pavel Vidlitsky uh, Pavel where are we uh, we are in the materials lab at EDC right now you told me this place is, uh, is, uh, is important for you, why? Yeah, this is, I, I started really my G career at uh, Materials uh -huh. Lab and then I moved to Material Application team that I'm leading right now. How, how many members has this uh, the Material Application team and uh, what, do what are you focused on? So we have uh, 12 engineers, materials engineers working in my team. So we are providing extensive support, materials and process related to many, most of the G Aviation commercial engines, mm -hmm. including Clip, Passport, 20, GNX. Uh, in terms of additive, for example, we are focused on the Leap engine and mostly on the ATP, the Advanced Turbo Pro. That is basically the, the star of the moment yeah, in, yeah. in aviation, in it BGA. Is, yeah. the, we, we, we were talking uh, with Piotr just a few minutes ago. We named also the 12 additive components on ATP. What can you tell us about that and the trials and experimentation on, on materials you did with your team on that? Yeah, so, so in terms of ATP, the very important process is the developing process for those materials. And the other thing is to implement already developed materials into the real specific applications, those 12 you mentioned. So this year we took ownership in my team for uh, developing two materials, Cobalt Chrome and Inco 718. Mm -hmm. Five components are made in ATP from those materials. Wow. So part of this uh, developing process is uh, determined how the material, uh, additive material behave. So we need to run a lot of testing campaigns, a lot of testing programs, and in fact some of the testing has happened here at EDC. What are you doing during this test? I mean, so we need to prepare specimens to perform fatigue, mainly fatigue testing. Mm -hmm. So those specimens are prepared in ATC right now, in Evendale. Yeah. Then those specimens came here. Because you collaborate with many other businesses. Yeah, we, and, and the, this is huge fun. testing campaign, so we are collaborating with Avio Aero and uh, G Evendale ATC as well. Mm -hmm. So the specimens are prepared in ATC. We take them and uh, perform testing and then we are participating in the process of creating the uh, materials data to better determine how those materials behave. Yes. And then you exchange this data with all your peers involved, right? Sure, yeah. And then we need to implement what we know about the behavior into real application. Yes, whether this application can be used and what's the design, what the design should be uh -huh. for this application to to, to meet the requirements. 
Great, that's great. Thank you so much for your time. No problem, Chocolate. thanks. Here we are with Pavel Buczek, and this looked like a class in a school, I, but it's a, a very particular class because I see cross-section of engines. This is the C CFM56, and there is the... CF6. What happens here? Yes, so this is our uh, engine lab, right? So this is uh -huh. the place where we bring our uh, new engineers or younger engineers and they can learn about complexities of the engine architectures, right? Mm -hmm. And they can take an engine maintenance class, right, on this uh, engine and kind of actually see how the parts uh, come together, right? And, and maybe come up with some innovative ideas how to design them better. Sure, and uh, aviation here at the EDC as a, a great representative, right? How many aviation engineers? Are I, I, I think it's approximately 800 people. Wow. It, it's a and, lot. And your team is also made by aviation engineers? Yes, uh, we are an aviation engineering team uh, responsible for ATP mm -hmm. engine. We, we were talked just a few minutes ago with uh -huh. Piotr and Pavel about the ATP and the additive components, the additive make components mm -hmm. and the material that they use and they study. For the, in the material lab for for uh, for the different components. Yeah. Which kind of components modules are you focused on? Yes. Yeah, so 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 my team is focused on compressor, mechanical systems, high pressure turbine, and power turbine. Right. Mm -hmm. So actually, we take materials that they develop and we apply them to some new additive parts that we have on our modules. So it's like you're all connected in this city of engineers, this town of engineers, oh, right? oh yes, we have many functions like beyond my team really working together to, to make uh, ATP real, right? Do you have any other wish for the future for your team? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, a ATP is our, uh, it, it's our baby, it's our great opportunity, right? Because on, on, on one hand, we, we have a full responsibility for those modules, but also we do many things first time and new things, new technologies, right? So we mm -hmm. develop those additive parts we mentioned, but we also do some other things like cooling technologies, right? We have submitted many patents, right? So actually working on new technologies in place like EDC Engineering Center, it's, you know, the, the best thing you can imagine, right? Great, this is absolutely the best thing. Thank you, Pavel. Thank you, good to meet you.